Hello everyone, today we make amazing toffee caramel bonbon. This toffee caramel bonbon have a little touch of salt to make balance for the sweet and sour. And the way we spray the mold, I will show you everything in this video. So keep watching. If this is the first time to watch me, my name is Ahmad Yunis. I'm expert in chocolate pastry over than 30 years. Everything you imagine in pastry bakery, even dessert French pastry, how to make show piece, all in this channel. Just try it. What you want to learn in few days or one week, you have your own. First, we spray 50% of the mold with red color. So the red color, 100 gram cacao butter, 45 degree. I added 10 gram red color. I blend it with hand blender. Then I strain it. I'm I tempering the spray until 29. Then I spray half percent. The other half I spray with white chocolate or white color. White color is 100 gram cocoa butter, 10 gram titanium oxide. Then I strain and I then bring 29 centigrade. I spray the half mold. Then I keep it at least four to eight hour in room temperature to crystallization before I added the chocolate. This step is so important. Actually, I spray everything today and tomorrow I added the chocolate. You can see this mold from Chocolate World. Second day, I tempering the milk chocolate, 30 degree. I add it to the mold, as you see. I shake it. I keep it inside the mold from 50 to one minute. 50 seconds to one minute in room temperature. After that, I upside down it. And then I remove all the excessive. Sometimes you can stay longer, 20 seconds, or less 20 seconds. It's a depend about the consistency of the shell you want to have inside the mold. Now we have toffee caramel. In beginning, 120 gram fresh cream, 50 gram butter. I just reheated. This step is very important. It will reduce the time of making the toffee. So 120 gram fresh cream, 50 gram of butter. When it starts boiling, I remove. Then I have other saucepan, 200 gram only sugar in medium temperature. This is very important. I don't make caramel in high temperature. It's mom, medium temperature. Slowly, slowly, when it becomes caramel, I start stirring. Don't scare if you make it lumps. You keep continue stirring, it will melt it all. As you see, I can bring the edges. I mix it well to MBT all the lumps. When I have this beautiful golden dark color, I added, you remember? Yes, the fresh cream with hot butter. Then I keep stirring until emulsify. and all in medium temperature. When the caramel emulsify, I added 170 gram of white chocolate. And then little pinch of salt. I stir it, it's very important. When the chocolate lumps, you can use the whisk. 
And now you have beautiful toffee chocolate. We keep it overnight or until to have right temperature, then we feel the all mold. So normally I make all spraying 24 hour and all ganaches 24 hour in room temperature, 18 to 22 centigrade. And then I start filling. Now I have my toffee ready. I add it to the piping bag. I feel with the desired amount you want. You can add it actually two, three flavor. You can add it little caramel or toffee, and then you have whole roasted nuts, almond or whatever you, you like. And then you can cover it with dark chocolate timbering. You can see the shell is very nice, exactly two millimeter. It's not so thick, it's not so thin. So now I feel all the mold, as you see. And then I have timbering chocolate. I cover my chocolate and I keep it in the fridge from 15 to 20 minutes. It's depend about your fridge, the way you treat your chocolate, you know exactly. But normally after I make the mold, as you see, I clean the mold. I leave it in room temperature at least 20 minutes before I put in the fridge. As you see, you have amazing toffee chocolate. Please, if you like the video, write comment. Let us know your opinion about our video, how we can improve ourselves. And most important, if you want to learn anything in pastry, bonbon, praline, chocolate, bread, write to me. I'm able to do it.